We come together for another short time of reflection and prayer. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I thank you that you're taking a few minutes out of your busy schedules to join me and others this day. Our reading today is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 9, verse 25b. One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. Amen. Sight is precious. I know that. I was at a lunchtime spin class, not the political type but a static cycle aerobic session at the gym. Now, if you know me, you might think that I wasn't that type. The instructor took us through 45 minutes of aerobic exercises, heart pumping, muscles burning, and all for fun. Near the end, I had trouble seeing. There was a worm-like thread in my eye. I had suffered an RVO, a renal vein occlusion. I hightailed it out of the fitness suite, didn't even shower, and headed to the on-site opticians, who then sent me to the eye pavilion in Edinburgh. I was lucky. I can still see, but I do have an enlarged blind spot in one eye. And I thank God for that. In our story today, a man has been born blind and the tick box religiosity of the Jews asked if this was because of the sin of the man or the sin of his parents. Neither, Jesus replied. Sometimes it's hard to understand why certain things happen to people. A rogue gene, an accident at birth. We can't tell. But this man had to get on with life. And he got through life by reaching out and touching, by listening to the sounds around him. And of course, with the help of others. He met Jesus and Jesus healed him. Unconventionally, Jesus made a saliva-based mud and put it on the man's eye and then told him to go and wash them in the pools of Siloam. Job done? Well, yes and no. The man could see but the tick box religiosity of the day kicked in. People in the street were unsure if this was the same man that had been begging all his life. No one thanked Jesus for the miracle that they had seen, and no one praised God. The healing had been done on the Sabbath. Jesus could not be from God if he worked on the Sabbath the religious rulers said. And the man's parents denied the miracle because they were afraid that they would be expelled from the synagogue. You know, there are none as blind as those that will not see. Over the last week or so, have you seen acts of sacrificial love? of caring compassion, of bounteous grace. If you see these types of things, you know that God is still working in our land and in our lives. Jesus gave sight to this man so that our spiritual eyes may be opened and when they are opened by Christ, our spiritual vision is perfect, with no blind spots at all. Let's pray. 
Lord God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, we give you thanks today for your great love for us. A love that seeks only the best for us. A love that shines through all forms of darkness, lightens our soul and enlivens our spirit. Help us to appreciate the beauty of your creation. Help us to see your unseen presence working in our lives and the lives of others. And take away any blind spots that we may have so that we may truly see your glory today. And now let's say together the prayer taught to us by Jesus. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen.